That people was the winner of the Stony and Wojo fifth annual drop contest. Congratulations to our own Mike Valeni. And the next time he says, oh, I really didn't care. I saw the video Jeff Rieger put out because Rieger got the final moments captured on the phone. Mike throws his hands up in the air the second he gets it. I don't think he realized he really was that invested because around the Elite Eight time, I think, because it was like a little bit of disappointment. When mine got knocked out, I was disappointed. David was bummed out when his got knocked. And Mike won it all. So Mike gets the day off for winning the whole contest. So I got a question for you guys, and it's very simple. We had a pre-show meeting, and we had something lined up for the 2 o'clock hour. But then Big 12 Media Day is going on right now. The Big 12, it was the conference that everybody thought wasn't going to make it. Everybody thought the Big 12 was going to fold. Oklahoma's leaving. Texas is leaving. But the Big 12 said, you know what, we're going to get some other teams. In comes Central Florida. In comes, I think, BYU and Cincinnati. And they're still looking. In Houston. In Houston. And I still say, they're looking at Colorado. Colorado, I understand Colorado because Colorado used to be a part of the Big 12. That's fine. But if you're doing it because of Dion, you're making a huge mistake. That's going to that's going to fail miserably. I promise you that. The two teams that they should be looking at trying to get, if I were them, I would try to go get Arizona and Arizona State. Those are probably the last pieces of the Pac-12 that are still worth something, especially Arizona. They may want to take Arizona State with them. But a couple things came out of the Big 12 media day. One is... They're going to be like the Super Bowl at halftime of the Big 12 championship game. And this is according to different reporters who are there tweeting stuff out. I got this from Chris Faini from The Athletic. They're going to hold a halftime show with a live musical act that they're going to announce August 12th. You're going to find out who the act is. So similar to the Super Bowl, they're going to roll out the stage at halftime of the show. So no longer will you get the Dr. Pepper tried, you know, Two co-eds trying to throw the ball through the through the uh you know through the the, the canister in order to win a hundred thousand dollars. You're gonna get a real concert. That's okay. The other thing is, the Big Twelve is looking at playing their games on Thursday and Friday. Why Thursday and Friday? Because the SEC and the Big Ten <laughs> they've taken up all the slots. ESPN and Fox are in bed with those two conferences. So any all the time slots, we joke about where that game should be on at 9 o'clock. The 12 o'clock games, 3.30 game, 4 o'clock game. Fox does 4 o'clock games, 7 o'clock games, 8 o'clock games, 7.30 kickoffs. Even the, you know, the, the stuff at night with the Pac-12, all of those games are gone. The SC, I mean, the Big 12 doesn't have this lucrative deal. Because everybody's looking at the Big Ten and everybody's looking at the SEC because that's the best conference in football. They may have to play their games on Thursday and Friday, which begs this question. Today, this month, is the last month that we'll have no football until the month of March. Think about that. July is the last month. After July, there will be football all the way up until the month of March where we're talking college hoops. My question is simple. Is there a such thing as too much football? The Big 12 is looking at going Thursday and Friday. At some point in the year, the MAC kicks in and they play MACTION on Tuesday and Wednesday. That means for a certain part of the year, football will be played every single night. Is there a such thing as too much football? I say yes. 248-539-9797. There is a such thing as too much football. The reason why football is so popular, the scarcity. It used to be only 16 weeks a year. Now it's 17 weeks a year in the NFL. College is 12 weeks. It used to be you have 
Saturday, you had Sunday, and one Monday night game. Okay, well, what if we threw in Thursday night games? Okay, throw in Thursday night games as well. Okay, so now it's Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Okay, now what if we put a couple games on Friday night? Okay, now it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. If this goes through, there's a possibility. It'll be football every day of the week. That's not a good thing because now football becomes watered down. Now it's not as special as it used to be. The reason why nobody really follows the baseball season, the NBA season, the NHL season, it's every night. Every night you can see something. For the NFL and college football, man, you waited until the weekend. You look forward to it. You planned. You did everything. You tell the wife, take the kids and go. I want to spend the heck Gator does the rant every year where he's saying, I just need my time in front of the TV set. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because if this goes down, there will be football every single day of the week. Can there be too much football? 248 539 9797. I say yes. Football is only special when it's less games, when it's less days when it's less times, when you look forward to it, the anticipation. I don't need it every day. I don't. Because, I mean, especially, you know, all of a sudden, to me, I think that, that point of delineation happened when the NFL came out with the Thursday night games every week. It was cool Thanksgiving. That was fine. Or, you know, the Saturday games late in December. That was cool, too, because college football was done. But now it's to the point where, I mean, Monday night is over, and then it's Thursday night football. But now, no, they're going to fill in the gaps, and there's going to literally be football every night of the week. I think that's too much. 248-539-9797. What say you? David, is there such thing? It's too much football. I'll start off like this. I love football. We all love football here. Um, and I really want to say no, that there's no such thing as too much football. But it but is. Go ahead. It's okay. I, I really honestly think this would be too much football. We just don't need football every day or even five out of the seven days of the week. We just don't. And you're right. Back in the day, I don't know, it's not like an old person, but back in the day, it was great when you waited for Saturday for your game, and you waited for Sunday in your game, and then you had the Monday night game. We all right. had that, but, right. you know, when you waited for that matchup, for that day. But Monday was special because Monday was normally a good team. Correct. It was that one game, and and it, football fans, we have compromised so much. Okay, well, what about, okay, well, you know, well, you could play this. Game. Okay, well, we'll play this. Okay, well, this is a special circumstance. The product's getting watered down. If you if, if this goes through the Pac-12 that you could see Houston versus TCU on a Friday night. Now, I didn't even get into the point the Houston and TCU and all of those teams can't be happy of the fact that Texas high school football is a pretty damn big thing. You're playing football the same night as Texas football. Guys, I don't know if you've ever flown into Houston or Dallas, San Antonio, any major city in the state of Texas. But when you're flying in and you see these stadiums, those aren't small colleges. Those are actual high school stadiums. It truly looks like you are seeing a small college, like an Albion the like stadium, that would be that. No, no, no. Albion's not. Albion would be lucky. Yes. To have a stadium as good as some of those stadiums. Yes. I remember fl I was flying into Houston for the first time, and I was at Fox Two, and I looked over at, at Woody, and I'm like, Man, "How many? How many small colleges are here?" He's like, "Dude, those are high school stadiums. I mean, six, seven thousand enclosed stadiums, six, seven thousand seats enclosed, concession stands, like." legitimately wow field lights Wayne State would love to have that when you look at our high schools compared to theirs it's a joke but football is it just too much I say it is 
it used to be Saturday, college, Sunday, pros, big time game, Monday night. Okay, great. Well, what if we did Sunday night football? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Okay, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday night, Monday. Well, what if we expand to Thursday night and, and, and we keep compromising and we keep compromising? We've now watered down our own product that the college, the football, college football, NFL, it's going to start to feel a lot like the other sports where you don't really pay attention to the regular season because there's so much of the regular season. It's every night you can turn on a game and see something, and it's like, okay, well, what makes this game any different from the game that's going to be on tomorrow? I just think it's too much. 